Hi everyone, how are you? I am Atikur Rahman, an AWS Certified Solutions Architect. Today I am going to uh, analyze with uh, Google Cloud Platform, which is an alternative to AWS. So a lot of my uh, friends and also colleagues are talking about Google Cloud Platform and it has a lot of cool features. So I am going to just uh, go over Google Cloud Platform try to register a new account and see what are the benefits I can get as a free tier so let's get started so uh, let's go to uh, Google Cloud from Cloud platform and try to sign up with a new account yeah we have 12 month free trial it's similar to AWS so uh, let's try Build the next better software first. Uh, try it free. Yeah, I want to try it free. Okay. Um, try Google Platform for free. Step one of two. Country Bangladesh. Terms of service. Um, blah blah blah. I have to agree it anyhow. Email updates. Yeah, I want to receive some updates. Let's go through it. Okay, here it gives me the details that access to all cloud platform products and I have got $300 for free sign up with 12 months of uses. Okay, let's go. Okay, I have a payments profile. That's fine. Account type individual. This is my home and address. Okay, payment method. I need to provide a payment method here. Uh, do I need to uh, monthly automatic payments? Yep, true. Is there anything else? I have to give me give my uh, credit card number here so let me pause for this step and after giving my credit card information I start again okay here I am <coughs> in my account I have uh, provided my credit card information and now I can see my Google Cloud from dashboard where I can see all those things the compute engine cloud storage cloud SQL app engines all those things so that's let's get started with uh, exploring one of those so first I'm going to um, to the console so okay it takes five minutes yeah that's too much okay I go to compute engine So it says compute engine lets you create virtual machines that run on Google's infrastructure, create micro VMs for large instances running Debian, Windows and other images, create your first virtual instance, import it using a migration service or try quick start to build a simple app. Okay. It's getting ready so uh, let's wait for that so what i assume it's similar to uh, ec2 i assume it's similar to ec2 in aws where you have your instances you can create instance using different os platform like ubuntu or windows or maybe you have amazon linux red hat whatever you want you can have it in the compute cloud ec2 i i assume it's similar to that but let's see it needs to be uh <coughs> tried out or tested out so it is taking some time so let's see what is going on here 
there is a documentation available compute engine documentation which can help you to get started with compute engines so if i go to the left menu i see vm instances which is virtual machine instance groups instance templates sole tenant nodes disks snapshots images tpus committed user discounts metadata health checks all those things okay great so this is my vm uh, instances i can either create or import or take a quick start let's try to go to by doing create it will allow me to create an instance and let's try uh, give it a name my first okay, sorry all needs to be workers my first my first VM okay, my first virtual machine it has uh, you have 200 dollars credit 24 dollar monthly estimate is about 3.04 okay let's try with regions what regions we have it's jumping let's see we have taiwan you have hong kong we have tokyo osaka mumbai singapore we have singapore finland belgium sydney singapore so let's try with singapore okay so singapore we have a zone here let's a okay then <laughs> yeah it, it looks like similar to aws so let's general purpose or memory optimized let's go for general purpose so generation first powered by skylake cpu uh, okay it's a standard okay uh, one virtual cpu 3.7 5 gigabytes of memory uh, let's try with shared one f1 micro okay as you can see its monthly estimate is only 5.14 that's very cheap so let's try with this i'm just testing it so i can do it very small ones it doesn't matter then uh, containers cpu platform and gpu mm -hmm. deploy container images to your machines that not do this okay boot disk while we we can use debian gnu Linux 9 scratch but we can change it and let's see what are the options are here in aws we have a lot of options so let's i assume here is as well so let's we can try with upon debian center 6 center 7 and then open to 18. awesome all those flavors are available let's try with center 6. i am mostly accustomed with center 6. tick size gigabytes of 8 gigabytes of tick size that's the standard let's select it center 6 okay identity and api access service account compute engine default service account allow or default accounts allow or full access to all cloud apis set okay let's choose what is default and then move ahead firewall allow http traffic through that's quite quite simplified in uh, aws you need to choose those all the ports and then as an ip addresses which is just allowing a public HTTP HTTPS which is basic let's allow HTTPS as well and management security decks networking and sole tenancy let's not go on to the details and just use within the free tier your free tier credit will be used for the VM instances okay great now equivalent rest or command line that's not required create now let's create that instance it's creating it's creating good okay so interestingly it's uh, more simplified as i can see compared to aws aws is a bit complex step 
if you wanted to create an instance you need to choose the family you need to choose the text space you need to give uh, role you can give uh, ip address whitelist ip address all those things but here it's one page i i think it's a bit simplified in a sense that uh, you can just start in one click one or two clicks there's some quick tips here but i don't want to go through this let's stop this okay i can just click it back i guess show info panel oh that's interesting okay so choose this where it's coming oh oh great Mm -hmm. Labels, you can add labels, monitoring, I can monitor CPU, networks, everything. What about labels? If I add level here, no, oh, it's like tagging in an applause. That's good. It's sent to a six, and let's save. Awesome. Then, um, how do I connect to that instance? Connect. I have options like uh, SSH. Oh, great! That's awesome. I can just connect to that uh, instance from the browser that's quite simplified and AWS also has it if you use light sale but that doesn't uh, available in the standard EC2 instances so I must say it's slightly improved compared to AWS <laughs> but it doesn't know AWS can just easily bring it back to you, you as well it has tried with uh, the first uh, in the light sale and it has already tried with uh, and succeeded working with light cell so i guess is will also bring it back this wave interface to to the ec2 uh, uh, dashboard as well so let's try to uh, get into this what we have seen here um so do yum update That's right. okay i'm going to update the yum packages Let's see what has happening. Amazing. It doesn't need to have a SSH client or even putty to connect to the your instance in Google Cloud. You can just use the terminal that's available here and that's that's a great thing i must say it means that i d i don't need to give anyone to uh, access the instance i just log in to the google cloud dashboard vm vm dashboard and then run my command and close it that's it quite simple i say i must like it It's doing the yum package update, uh, taking some time because I have chosen a very very minimalistic instance because it's testing and I don't want to do anything. After testing I will just shut it down and clean this up. Okay, it's almost done. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is uh, basically set up Apache, set up PHP, set up a uh, web server to run a subdomain and then set up uh, an SSL certificate using let's encrypt and see if that all works fine great thing about uh, the cloud uh, platforms are they are almost similar they use different words but actual the behavior i am seeing it's i haven't tried with azure but i assume it will be more or less similar like this so um, if you are experienced with any of the cloud platforms like aws or gcp or azure 
I must say that you can then uh, be become experienced on others as well so uh, what's happening here it's, is it stuck yeah, it sometimes takes some time but voila it's done let's clear the screen so uh, so to run install minus y httpd php 7 2 let's see what happens let's see what is my php version is oh php hasn't installed yet so to um, install minus one php PHP done clear so I go to var top 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 bom 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 and then html right yes it is sudo var php for dot php I'm just trying going to write a php info here And then I mean okay, that's great. I can go to the details of that instance. Uh, what I want is the IP address which I can use to access. network details in the network details I can see mm, the details of the network so this is my IP address right copy and then give php info.php refused connection Oh, uh, did I start at my, uh, where is my console? Okay, I haven't started my Apache server yet, sorry. So do service HTTP restart. Yes, I have done this. Awesome, so that's how easily we can install Apache PHP in uh, GCP CentOS. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a subdomain here and uh, then uh, just uh, install let's encrypt right so let's encrypt with CentOS 6 that's what I want right Okay, the software is uh, 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 first. I need to set up my subdomains. So, a records here, right? And then create a new record. It's uh, GCP, and I, I say GCP with Cloud Platform, which points to this IP address. Okay, great. Let's save it. That's done, then Apache Central 6, it should be quite simple, right?
okay i need to just download this go to home directory and then I download download has been done okay so I've got auto then I need to um, let's do that let's see this Okay, first I need to uh, create a subdomain uh, registry entry here for virtual hosting. So it's like sudo vi etc httpd conf dot dot conf. That's good. Now I'm going to open. Uh, Sublime text. And let's see if I have anything for the virtual post. I have some tutorials. Let's go over them. Where the example of virtual host is given. Okay, it's for virtual host uh, port 443, but I just need for port. A lot of things I don't need, but let's just remove those. It's a generic one, I just take it and use it. So I'm going to use it for port 80. We have GCP dot sites and shops .com. let's verify the domain name these sites and shops .com. that's good tcp server alias not required document root var www.html index.com that's fine these are not required copy this and paste it to the <coughs> virtual host file okay uh, that's done now let's restart Here. Okay. What I was there, I was going to install the Let's Encrypt, which was which requires you to have those virtual host configuration at first, and then you can just run it with this command. Let's try it. 
okay it's now setting up everything with uh, let's encrypt It is creating <coughs> the virtual environment and it is checking the virtual environment and uh, trying to verify that and then if uh, it successfully verifies then it installs everything okay uh, cool. yandex.com yes i have to agree anyhow there is no way I can agree the terms and conditions. The one is okay. One. Okay, great. We here you can see that it has an option to create auto redirect by itself. I want to have redirect all those HTTP requests to HTTPS. That's interesting. Okay, so uh, everything has been done successfully, and let's see if we can browse the site with HTTPS. What I'm going to do is GCP sites and shops dot com slash php php wow amazing as you can see i have now uh, successfully installed oh, sorry. i have now successfully installed https with let's encrypt it has a validity of uh, three months as you can see december 7 then we have uh, all those informations here and it's uh, PHP 5.3 that's my outdated you can install a different version if you want that's not a big issue the main point is we have created our first virtual machine on GCP we have set up Apache PHP and then we have pointed a dom subdomain to that uh, server and then set up HTTPS over there so it looks like Okay, quite similar to AWS which is Google Cloud platform uh, it needs some time to get adjusted in both of those platforms I must say and uh, it's per personal choice whichever you choose AWS or GCP it's up to you but I have displayed you how easily you can set up your environment in Google Cloud platform so uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel I don't say that too much to this people to everyone but uh, uh, if you like these videos and want to see more of this with cloud platforms like Google cloud or Azure or AWS then please like this video subscribe and share with your friends I wish a successful career up ahead with you if you learn any of those three cloud platforms thank you for watching my video and have a nice day